What up? Second grade? What's going on? What's cracking? What's happening? Second grade? All right, we're going to get started. Today, you will need a pencil, a marker, a piece of paper, and something to color with. I have my cute little uh, crayons. You can use colored pencils. You do need something that you can use that allows you to show value. So you um, might want to stick with something like crayons or colored pencils if you have watercolor. Um, but that's what we're going to be sticking with. So to get started, um, you would use pencil. I'm going to use marker just so you guys can see. Um, so you can either do it uh, portrait wise or landscape. So what we're going to get started with is we're going to create some kind of almost like a lava lamp of an optical illusion. So I'm going to start, I want to start at this edge and I'm going to start at the top and create a little loop. I want those curves going in and you know, I'm going to come in here, create that using that last line might come out like this and it doesn't really matter how um, how the line forms as long as you're able to get some kind of um, curvature within each thing. Now, after you've created those lines, you can have them as thin as you want, you can have them as thick as you want. I just made them, you know, sort of whatever. Um, then you're gonna go in and create that optical illusion part. So I'm gonna just show you on one of them, taking side to side, and we did this with the hand optical illusion um, project when we did that. So remember, we use a curvature to make something look 3D or like it's popping out, we wanna have that curve. You're not gonna go straight across. If you go straight across, across it's not gonna show it. So I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna curve, curve, curve down here curve making sure and it does not have to be perfect you know on the on the next one I think I'm gonna make my curves go up now if you're making your curves go down on one side they all have to be going down on the next one they all have to be going up so I wouldn't do a curve up and a curve down it doesn't doesn't look right Let's just do one over here for good measure. So you'll finish it up like this. And then I did one right here. You're going to be coloring with value. I don't want to show you how it's going to look like. Eh, whatever, I'll show you. So we're going to create this optical illusion effect. How did I do it? I used the element of value. Darker on the outside, lighter on the inside until you create that white space. It almost looks like the light is shining immediately in the middle. So I'm going to pick, it's going to end up looking like that. You can use as many colors you, as you want. You can use as, if you just want to use one color for the entire thing, that's fine. The way that you make it look like it's 3D or it's popping out is by creating value, creating those shadows. So I'm going to start with green on this one. And I think I'm going to start over here. Now remember, I'm pressing hard on that side. And I wanna remember that my line, my, my light is gonna be hitting the middle, so I don't want to color anything in the middle. So dark, 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 lighten it up, loosen your grip on that material, on that crayon. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. Dark, 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 and lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up. I'm gonna use another color. Let's say, why not, orange. Dark, 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 dark. Lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up. And another thing to remember, when you're coloring, going straight across is gonna make it look like it's um, flat. So I always color at a curve. So you see how my, my colors are going up? Lighten it up now. Like I said, going up, 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 curving, 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 other side, up, 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 curving, 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 including a little bit of light. And if you need to pause this video, rewatch it a couple times, I know that you guys can do it. And then by the end, you'll have an entire optical illusion. And 
it basically looks like a lava lamp. So, my friends, get started. I want to see these pictures on Class Dojo. So, go ahead and do that. Can't wait. Bye-bye.